I'm moving out. Ray is on a full-blown manic paranoid terror. I spoke to Barbara today. She went for a sleep study in Albuquerque a few days ago. She was only gone overnight. She asked uh, Steve and Linda, my neighbors over here, to take care of her dogs. Well, Ray broke in her trailer. Moved a bunch of stuff around. Making comments about why is the heater on, why are the lights on. Steve came in and said, what the fuck are you doing in here? Landlord knows about it. Today, he's got a kennel. He rents three spaces here. One right across the park from me and two right next to each other next door to me. Got These two are all fenced around. He owns two big chain link dog kennels. He's got one over here. The other one was over there and he's moved it over here. He's putting it right outside this window. And I mean, I can't even straighten my arm to hit the window. Those dogs screaming all the time. Him screaming and cussing in the middle of the night. Slamming doors. Banging on things. Well, there was a person that had rooms for rent. And I couldn't afford either one of them. But he came out in the country, it seemed to me. He said, hey, listen. I got this here trailer. How much you charge me to hook it up? Use your toilet and... Washing machine and wash my dishes in your sink. Oh, two fifty a month. I pay two seventy five here, and I can't get to town without spending twenty dollars on gas round trip. Yeah, I mean there's no public transportation. This place is close to the rail runner stop. Rail runner's a train that goes all the way south to where I used to live, uh, kind of along I twenty five freeway all the way south from where I used to live, all the way up to Santa Fe, and can even from there take buses to points north. Civilized. Close to groceries. Utilities. It's a farm. Chickens. There's another neighbor. Her daughter's living in an RV. That's the next closest neighbor. Daughter's living in an RV in the backyard, so ain't nobody gonna be bitching about my RV. He doesn't care about the animals. He's got dogs, but they're little. I have a feeling my old 20-year-old cat can probably beat the hell out of anything he's got. Since my little old cat, old Snaggletooth, foul breath because he's got rotten teeth like me. He rode a German Shepherd around down in Berlin one day because he got too close to the house. I mean, had that dog yelping and screaming and running. Had all 20 claws in that dog and rode that dog down the road. So, from there, I'll be a lot closer to Albuquerque, which means a lot closer to medical stuff and social stuff and groceries and my ex is going to let me forego making the payment on the trailer in the truck this month and said she'd even help out with gas. <coughs> uh, my disability check comes in on the 3rd. I'll go up and see the place, and I'm going to take my little utility trailer with as much of my outdoor stuff that I really need as I possibly can. Um, sell a bunch of shit up here at the flea market. It's the flea market two blocks from me. Had it. And Joe, the landlord, went over and knocked on their door today, and I said, Henrietta, you haven't heard from me in months, because Joe threatened that if we ever complained about raised dogs, he'd uh, make it they make a policy, no dogs in the park. He said it to all the other dog owners, me, Barbara, and Linda. So nobody's been complaining about raised dogs since. I said, Joe also called me paranoid, said I was making stuff up about Steve, about Ray. Ray's in full-blown manic paranoid stuff, and Joe's in denial. Well, I didn't know it, but Joe was in the back of the house. And I was pretty upset. I wasn't yelling, but I was talking fast. And Joe said, I can't stand this. And went outside with a cell phone. So I don't know who's crazy, Ray or Joe. But, I mean, he's a freaking born-again cop, ex-cop. Got the local police thinking I'm nuts. Yeah. So I'm not telling them where I'm going. I'm just getting out.
I may call a couple of people and see if they uh, have any sympathy for volunteering the gas money to get me out of here. I have plenty of gas. My ex loaded up, filled up the tanks. But I'm thinking for a second trip. You know, if there was another truck out this away, it would be nice. So another truck would be useful. But it's got to be pretty darn close to free, even though it's going to be some serious gas. I'm packing. This is no place to live.